स्टैटिस्टिक चैप्टर वन एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू विच इज गिवन इन योर पेज नंबर एटीन इन योर टेक्सट बुक नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू यर विल लर्न दैट द होल्ड एक्सरसाइज इज डिपेंड ऑन द कन्वर्जन कन्वर्जन फ्रॉम फिक्स बेस टू चेन बेस एंड द चेन बेस टू फिक्स बेस मीन्स द क्वेश्चन विल बी गिवन आई फिक्स बेस आई द चेन बेस दैट हैव टू बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू दी अनदर that you will understand more when we'll start with the solution here is the formula is given if the conversion of fixed base index number into chain base index number the formula will be the chain base index number is equal to fixed base index number of current year divide by fixed base index number of preceding year multiply by 100 and if the conversion of chain base index number into fixed base index number formula will be Fixed base index number is equal to chain base index number of the current year multiplied by fixed base index number of the preceding year to current year divided by hundred. Now this formula you will understand more when we will start with the solution. Here we start with the first question. The chain base index number of agriculture production of a state from the year two thousand eight to two thousand fourteen are as follow. Compute the fixed base index number. Now here you can see the So uh, the information which is given in the question is on chain base index number, and they are asking to convert it into the fixed base index number. And for this, they have given that take two thousand seven as a base year. Now for this, here I am ready with the solution. Just prepare the table and take the information which is given in the question. and shows that it is given in the chain base information and here we are going to convert it into the fixed base index number now for this the formula is current year of chain base index number has to be taken first which will be multiply with the previous year fixed base index number now let's start as you can see for the 2008 there is no other previous year is given so we'll continue with the 100 100 Current year chain base index number multiply by the previous year fixed base index number. Now here we don't have previous year fixed base, so here we can assume it with hundred divide by hundred. So here hundred hundred will cut remain one hundred. Moving to the next. Now this is what the previous year fixed base index number for this. Here you can see the fixed base, and this is what we found fixed base index number. Moving to the next. Current year chain base index number. Now, the for two thousand nine current year is hundred and ten. Multiply by the previous year fixed base index number. Now, this is what the previous year fixed fixed base index number for for two thousand nine two thousand eight fixed base index number is hundred. Divide by hundred. Here hundred cut remain hundred and ten. Next. For 2010, again the current year chain base index number is 95. Just remember this matter that the we are taking answer from the previous year, not from this. We are taking 110, that is previous year fixed base index number, the number which we are finding right now, that is 110 divided by 100. Here we get 104.5 because the numbers are same. me you have a confusion that i took this but it is the answer which we have found from the previous year fixed base index number next for the 2011 now the current year chain base index number is 108 which will be multiplied by the previous year fixed base index number that is 104.50 divide by 100 here we get the calculation answer 112.86 For 2012, current year chain base number is 120 multiplied by the previous year fixed base index number is 112.86 divided by 100. Here we get the answer 135.43. Next, current year 106 previous year fixed base index number 135.43. Divide by hundred, and here we get answer one hundred and forty three fifty point fifty six. Next current year one hundred and ten multiplied by the previous year fixed base index number. Divide by hundred equal to is equal to one fifty seven point ninety two. 
नेक्स्ट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑप्टीन द चेन बेज इंडेक्स नंबर फ्रॉम द फिक्स बेज इंडेक्स गिवन नंबर गिवन बिलो विद द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सेवन एट एज द बेज ईयर फॉर द होल सेल प्राइज ऑफ द मशीन एंड इक्विपमेंट ये वी कैन सी द ईयर इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द टू थाउजेंड एट नाइन टेन नाइन टेन एंड कंटिन्यू टिल फिफ्टीन एंड द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सेवन एंड एट विच इज नॉट गिवन ईयर वी कैन एज्यूम द बेज ईयर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सेवन एंड एट इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड now let me continue with this this is how you have to prepare the table here i just wrote the from information given in the textbook year and the fixed base index number that is the number which is given in the question now here i in the question they told you to find out chain base index number and this is what the formula for the chain base index number that current year fixed base index number divided by previous year fixed base index number now the same column we are going to use for the current year we'll take 117.4 divided by previous year fixed base index number now as per the question the fixed base uh, previous year will be 2007 and 2008 so which we have assume it as a 100 this is what the this is what you have to continue with the next question as well if they have not given anything you can assume it as a 100 for not given information 117.40 moving to the next for the current year uh, fixed base index number for 2009 10 it is 118 Divide by the previous year fixed base index number. Now this is what the fixed base index number, and the previous year is hundred and seventeen point four. Hundred and seventeen point four multiply by hundred. Here we'll find answer hundred one hundred and point fifty one. For the next two thousand ten and eleven, this is what the current year fixed base index number. One twenty one point three, and the previous year for the fixed base index number is hundred and eighty. Multiply by hundred, here we get one hundred and two point eighty. Next current year is one twenty five point one divided by the previous year that is one twenty one point three into hundred equal to one hundred and three point thirty. Now. in when we are finding the chain base index number nothing to do with the answer like fixed base in chain base index number see if you check the formula we are just going to take the current year of fixed base index number the information which is given in the question and the previous year of the fixed base index number next current year is 128.4 and the previous year is 125.1 into 100 here we get the answer 102.64 Next current year one thirty one point six and the previous year is one twenty eight point four into hundred. Here we get hundred and two point forty nine. Next current year is one thirty four point six and the previous year is one thirty one point six into hundred. Here we got hundred and two point twenty eight. Moving to the next question, the fixed base index number of food. From the month of January to October in the year two thousand fifteen, for the industry industrial workers of Ahmedabad are as given below. Compute the chain base index number. Now again, we are going to find out chain base index number. But if you check it properly, there is no base year is given over here. So first, let me take all the information. The month is written. Fixed base index number and the formula the same which we have took before chain base index number current year fixed base index number divided by the previous year fixed base index number multiply by hundred. Now first year we'll take the current year fixed base index number that is two hundred and seventy one. Previous year fixed base index number now as per the question there is no previous year or the fixed base. not even the base is given in this question now when just remember this point when the base is not given you have to repeat the same number for the base as well when the base index number is not given i just show you one thing in the second question how they have given the base year is 2007 and 8 that time we can assume it 100 but if you check your question number 3 there is no base year is given now when the no base year is given you just have to repeat the same number for the base Multiply by hundred, 
so here when it get cut you will get the answer 100 this is very important point please remember when you are solving this moving to the next question sorry next uh, month here the current year of the fixed base is 270 divide by the previous year fixed base index number is 271 multiplied by 100 here we got 99.63 Moving to the next, the current year is 268 and the previous year is 270 multiplied by 100. Here we got 99.26. Next, current year is 268 and the previous year is again 268 multiplied by 100. The both will get cut. The answer will be 100. Next, current year 278, previous year 268 multiplied by 100. 100 here we get 103.73 we'll continue with the remaining that is the current year is 283 previous year 278 into 100 here we got 101.80 next 283 divide by previous year is same 283 so obviously here we'll get the answer 100 next current year 293 and the uh, previous year is 283 multiply by 100 here we get 103.53 293 divide by 293 into 100 here we get 100 for the last one 299 the current year value and the 293 previous year here we get 102.5 moving to the next question Question number 4. The chain base index number for the sale of certain type of scooter from the year 2010 to 2015 are as follow. Find the fixed base index number. Now in this question you can see there is no base number, base year is given. But here we are finding big fixed base index number. In this you don't need to repeat the number. The thing what we have done in the question number 3. That is to repeat the number if base year is not given this has to be done only in the chain base index number now in fixed base index number we can continue with the process what we have done before that is the previous year fixed base index number now here the previous year fixed base index number is not given so here we'll assume it as a hundred divide by hundred the hundred will get cut and here the answer remain hundred and ten next the current year chain base index number chain base index number is hundred and 12 multiply by the previous year fixed base index number now this is what the previous year for 2011 the previous year is 2010 and fixed base index number here we found 110 remember to take this number divide by 100 here we get answer 123.20 moving to the next current year chain base index number is 109 and the previous year fixed base index number is 123 Point twenty multiply divide by hundred here we get one thirty four point twenty nine next current year chain base number is hundred and eight multiply with the previous year fixed base index number divide by hundred here we get answer one forty five point three next hundred and five current year chain base index number and the previous year fixed base index number 145.3 divide by 100 here we get the answer 152.28 next current year chain base index number 111 and previous year fixed base index number 152.28 divide by 100 here we get answer 169.3 here we finish our exercise 1.2